wanted to talk about a little change I made to one of my amplifiers. The uh, particularly the single-ended amplifier, which is over my shoulder here on the left. And it really amazed me of the difference in sound and how well it sounds. Now, I'm not going to get into this crazy argument about what sounds best, push-pull, single-ended. Hey, it's whatever you like, and it's whatever your ears are like. Everybody's ears are different. Mine are old. But uh, it, it's like anything else. Everybody has different tastes. Uh, I can't stand Blue Moon beer, but I like a lot of other beers. So it's all on your taste and what sounds good. You can't say that one is better than the other. That's what makes us unique as individuals. We all like a lot of different things and sometimes there's a lot of things that a lot of us like together and other groups don't. But I originally built this amplifier and I had KT, or I mean, excuse me, I had L34s in it. It sounded good. And a little later, I had a couple uh I had one L34 go out in my one of my push pull amps, so I just swapped those that set from the uh, single ended amp and put it in my one of my push pull amps, and I ordered a couple KT77s. And I thought, well, that's a nice, pleasant difference. I, it it does sound a little better with the KT77s. So. I thought maybe I'd experiment with that and even try go further and try something different at time. So later on, it was uh, beginning of this year, I bought a couple of these Chinese, uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that, that P-S-V-A-N-E, I don't know, but uh, these are classic series uh, Hi-Fi KT-88s, and I got a good price from them, so I, I thought I'd try those before I bought any more expensive ones. And the only changes I made, if you look at the schematic, I changed the cathode resistor from uh, 430 to 680 ohms. And I removed one of the Zener diodes for the screens. I had three in series before and I removed one so that up the screen voltage to about from 285 to 300 volts. And I was quite surprised. Oh, my little buddy's down here. Do you hear him? He's, he's the star of the show. He's the star of the show. Ivan the Siberian cat. Anyway, I was surprised at the, at the difference in sound and how well it sound through. Now, I had just recently also upgraded my BMW speakers, uh, upgraded the crossovers. And, uh, you know, I, this little amp has become my go-to amp now. I mean, it's only about four watts per channel. And it really sounds good. And I, I, I can't say why. Anybody has any insight on a little bit of the changes that I did? Now, if you look at the report from uh, 2 cab SE amp, and you see the report there, there's a little bit of change in the load line, a few subtle changes in the uh, some of the voltage and such, but I wouldn't think that those small changes made that much of a difference. But maybe this is a magic bullet, depending on the hardware that's in there and the components, the transcend our transformers and the components that I have that every I just accidentally hit it right. Well, I'm no engineer and math has never been my strong point, but I have to study over things and I can generally understand how most electronics works by studying it over because I understand if you know what the components do, and what they're capable of in a circuit. You can figure things out pretty much of what's going on. But I do have some friends who are good vacuum tube engineers, some online friends that occasionally ask them questions of this or that. But uh, if, 
looking at these reports, I don't see a whole lot of difference. But you may want to experiment with some things, and I, I think it might just be a match. I haven't tried any other KT88s. Later on, I'm going to pick up a couple of a different type, a different brands, see how they sound. And it might be that this these particular tubes are just a good match of dampening factor and everything with uh, those transformers and my speakers. So I just thought I'd mention this in a quick video. And it's fun. Keep on experimenting because that's what makes the world go round. That's sometimes it, it's hit and miss and you just do a little change like, gee, I wonder what will happen. And you hit on on something good. So you all have a Merry Christmas. And until next time.